Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Stellaris Utopia, as the Great Mucus fights the Hejam Citizen Collective? I can never remember what the name of their, their group is. Compact, that's right. So, folks, our planet is still being bombarded. We are still fighting. I just realized something. It is 2247. 2249 is when all these planets, I do believe, become depopulated. And we will have used up all the people for food, right? Yeah, so in about two more years, we're going to lose all these colonies. Now, with that in mind... Same here? Yep, two more years, we're going to lose all those colonies. So, what that means is that our fleet strength in two years, which I don't think it's going to be, is going to have to be able to hold off this giant mighty fleet of theirs because that's when it's all going to pop off, I guess. So, let's continue to build our fleet strength up and get Dialogue ready. Cleared. I am so Dialogue concerned. Cleared. I don't know that this is going to work out for us very well. Complete. Ooh, signs of battle. If you remember last time, we were investigating an anomaly. There's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Candaris 1 at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapons blasts, and scans from the ISS Yogg have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science Officer Riblog is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict hulks for any valuable technology. Intriguing. And we'll have a graveyard expedition available as a special project. Situation log updated. Uh, where is the Yog at? There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do that special project first before you go off to the rest of space. Thank you. Alright. How are we doing here? What kind of fleet do these guys have anyways? Not much of a fleet. I thought they would have more of a fleet than they do. I didn't bother to look at it last time when we opened up our sensor ranges. They are a wormhole species as well, which I did not realize. And actually, while we're here, why don't we look at their fleet, get some information. They have destroyers as well. They use laser technology for their ships. They have a mix of armor and deflectors. All around... It's weird, because those are the same ships the Ixadara used in a previous playthrough, if you remember that, if you watched it. So yes, I wish we had some destroyers, but we don't yet. We will soon in future, hopefully. Alright, again, let's get time going here. System cannot connect to sector. There are systems that are not connected to your sectors. Distinct systems. Which system? What happened? A border somewhere. I don't understand what this is saying. Oh, okay. So maybe it's because this little section got cut off now? That we can't get supplies from this sector? We'll see. If next, mo next month, if this drops way off? I don't know. I'm assuming it's because this little thing got dis disappeared on us. We'll find out. System survey complete. Uh, we have enough for another Corvette. Again, if you remember, we are building up our fleet strength complete. at the fastest speed we can. What did we research here? Planetary unification, monthly influence plus one, and we can do propaganda broadcasts. Uh, that we can spend influence on to increase happiness, doesn't matter for us. Ancient warring tribes 
Historical nations in conflict, now unified in empire. We must not, will not crumble. All right, new research. What do we have available? Xenology. We can make a Xeno Zoo. We don't care about any of that. We don't care about happiness or migration. The 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 great the great mind of Slugurum. No. Uh, border range increase. That might be useful. Atmospheric. Ah, okay. By adjusting atmospheric filtering on a per-site basis to better filter out undesirable elements, colonial living conditions may be improved. A plus five to habitability, that would not move any planets that are currently, for example, this. Here, look at this. That would move this to 25% habitability as opposed to 20. But unfortunately, that's not enough to help us take it over. We need better technologies. Hmm. Man, this is a tough call. We can do this energy siphon. What's this do? Shield damage. All shield damage. Well, after a peculiar biological process observed in the Tianqi, the energy siphon excites the energy transfer medium of targeting enemy vessels. You know, I think, man, our lack of borders have been a problem. Or do we keep going? Uh, Xeno Zoo it is. I have decided. I want us to be... Why are we... Oh yeah, we're researching lasers too. I want to see if we can get to a point where maybe we can do some biological modifications to things. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's the only way to get species to join the hive mind. Uh, we've surveyed Barum. Barum is the worst planet ever. Really? There is nothing here. That's It's just a, a, a waste. Okay. Fine, it is what it is. Uh, let's keep time going. Ooh, we are just kind of again... 1568. They are construction complete. Their fleet System has grown. Complete. Tile blocker cleared. Ooh. Okay. Another one of our ships got finished. Oh, I'm hoping that we can get strong enough to take them. We've also surveyed this area, a little asteroid, and that's all that's here. Not much for us to think about, really. Oh, they are slowly, slowly building up their fleets. Looks like they have added a few more Corvettes. Man, we're going to have to have one massive battle, and that's really going to be what dictates it all. The team under Science Officer Riblog has finished their expedition on Canadrius I and returned to the ISS Yogg. Sadly, the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful technology. These vessels were very clearly advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyze the way they were designed. We should consider the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Interesting. So some experience for our scientist and some science in that area. Oh, I hate it when we're that close, that close to being able to build our next ship. Something happened. Their free strength has just dropped, but the number of ships is the same. I wonder why the fleet strength dropped. I don't know. Very odd. Uh, oh, the Yogg needs new orders. There's the Yogg. Uh, get up here and continue to survey these systems for us. give him enough orders that we don't have to think about him again for a while unless he comes across another research project. There we go. Ooh. That was odd. I'm right on the I'm right on the, the right outside the range. Right on the edge of when everything pops in and out, I mean. 
Their fleet is not very strong. Oh, did they have a little fight? Is that what happened? I don't know. I don't know why their fleet strength has been so fluctuated. Tile blocker cleared. Okay. Oh, we have enough? What am I doing? Forgetting to build ships. And actually, we have... What can we do for edicts here? Capacity overload. Plus 15% energy credits. Infrastructure projects. Building costs minus 25 for 10 years. It costs 142 influence. Let's not spend our influence if we don't want to. Let's, though, take a look here. Something we haven't looked at is our government. Can we spend anything? Ooh. No, nothing here. That's our budget. There we go. Policies and edicts. That's what I wanted to look at. So, we're getting all this influence that we're not spending. We could increase our research with some of these if we spent a little bit. Let's let's spend. Yeah. Let's up the physics research a little bit. Oh no, that lowers research speed on the others. Never mind. Forget that noise. We will not make that an active edict. Okay. 1448. For 1084. Construction complete. Hostile fleet. Ah, there is what it was. What did they have here? Is this two destroyers that they had? Yeah, there's that little bit of extra strength. I don't know where those went off to. Why they went off to do their own little thing, but that's where they were. Uh, As your prime, more Corvettes. Man, we just can't afford to spend that right now. I would love to, but we can't. Okay. Maybe once we push them back, if we have a big enough fleet, we would be able to then look at maybe... I'm wor worried about our food. Construction complete. We will then maybe be able to look at doing... a bigger... You know, maybe Mucolonia could get a larger spaceport. There we go. Which would allow us to... build larger spaceships. But until we have the... this fleet under control... Evading hostile fleet. Ooh, who's evading? What'd you find? Is it more of these? Oh, no! Whose fleet is this? Pirates? Pirates with a 2,000 strength? What are these? It's a cruiser. A frigate. Oh my goodness. Get out of there, science ship. Where are you? You are far away. Let's hope that pirate fleet doesn't leave there. Holy moly, that's scary. Okay. System survey complete. Woo! We'll take your battle clans moving around. I'm fine Tile with that. Uh, what are we at? 1571. I don't know that we're going to be able to out-spaceship them. Oh, I am so concerned. I'm quite concerned. Anomaly found. Ooh, we'll be fine. Class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. Small planetoid's orbit appears to be too stable for its presence and to be natural occurrence. Okay. 
research that. Construction complete. Tile blocker cleared. Tile blockers are almost done being cleared out over on uh, Shergamore Prime, it looks like. System oh. survey complete. Never mind. Wherever we were clearing out the tiles. Ooh, we are getting we are getting squeezed. Do they have any new colonies? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Our fleet is up to 1220. They're at 1571. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around a slip 5. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Interesting. I'd be more interested in Hostile more ships. Engaged. Okay. Complete. Hold on, what's going on? One of our fleets is in combat. Who's in combat? What is this? Oh, okay. So, a whole bunch of stuff just happened. Alright, so our fleet's in combat. What just happened was... We finished eating our people. Or the, the people we were eating, we just finished. Uh, so, we hit the magic date. We lost all these colonies on the border, which isn't which which sucks. But, what happened, and I wondered about this, our armies that were on the planet got kicked right into space. We're going to lose those assault armies. That's not a big deal. I expect that. Uh, now the squadron still has their leader. So, that's not a big deal. I am excited that we are still getting food, so that is nice to know. We are not going to be starving yet, hopefully. So we're not even going to worry about that fleet combat, we know it's going to happen. We can get a new tradition! Okay, we, again we were doing supremacy to increase our, our fleet abilities. So we need to get... We already chose this, which the uh, fire rate for our ships increased by 15%. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what did this do for us? I'm sorry. Our border range increased by 20%. So, either master ship rights, ships build faster, and our naval capacity increases. Okay. Right of conquest, seed planet war demand costs reduced by 25%. Okay. Warrior mindset, army damage increased by 25%. I should probably read these whole things. The ever-increasing scope of our shipbuilding program has led to the creation of highly skilled and efficient labor forces at our shipyards. Methods have continually been refined, and the time it takes to go from hull plating to a completed starship is now shorter than ever before. Right of Conquest. The ancient right of conquest is a universal truth that is no less relevant now than it was when our civilization established dominion over our homeworld. Woe to the vanquished. And then Warrior Mindset. Discipline is at the core of any successful army. With selective breeding, rigorous drills, and extensive combat conditioning, we have created a force of ruthless warriors, working in absolute coherence with each other. They are an iron fist, which we will rule the galaxy with. Okay, well, and then what do these lead to? One of them goes to war games, Admiral skills are increased, and the other one goes to the great game, unity output increased by 10% per neighboring rival, which we really aren't using. Um... Let's go for the better, the cheaper ships. I mean, I'm sorry, faster building ships. Yes. We will take Master Shipwright. Because it'll also give us a couple more ships in our Navy. So let's take that. Do we, we need to look at some of these down the line. Maybe. I don't know. We'll look at that later. When it matters. Missing in action. At least one of our fleets have gone missing in action. It will take some time to return and rejoin the ranks. Alright. One of our transport fleets disappeared. We don't know where they are. They were obviously on a planet somewhere out here. And they'll probably zip back over once they're done. So that's not a big deal. To be expected. Okay, and 
we finished researching red lasers. Laser weapons are focused beams of light at targets causing damage through the generation of intense heat. New research. What can we do? Warp field stabilizers. Better warp drives. Ships go faster than ever before. Or farther than ever before. Solar panel networks. We could build a solar panel network on our space stations, which would give us energy credits. Or blue lasers. This is tough. Well, getting places has not been a problem, so the warp drive is not a big concern. Energy has not been a big concern. I don't know if it's worth going down the laser route or not. I mean, we might as well. Let's finish out laser research. I don't know what this will lead to in the long run, but let's do it. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? What's their fleet at here? We gotta keep track of this. 1571, and we are about to build another Corvette. There would be no reason, right? There would be no reason for us to build a laser ship, because again... They have large amounts of shields. They have some armor. But they're already using lasers. Yeah. I don't see a real big reason for us to redesign our ship with laser weapons. At all. Well, alright, well, that ended poorly for us. We have lost line of sight because we lost our fleet. We're at negative three. Ooh. This is scary, folks. We are now in the unknown. Construction complete. We don't know where their fleet system is. System survey complete. We don't know how strong their fleet is. Uh, we did finish a system survey out here. Some minerals out in the middle of nowhere, but nothing really useful. Are we still friends with the Uruxo Collective? Yes, we are. That's fine. Oh, who knows where this fleet is? It could be anywhere out here. And we know that we're not as strong. Hostile fleet detected. There they are. All right, they're coming. They go to Tibor. They can attack the planet. That's a waste. Let's just throw one more defensive army on there. See if that holds them up a bit. They can attack the planet. They are... System survey complete. Ooh, goodness Anomaly gracious. Found. All right. Significant scattering on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look almost like writing. Again, this same mercenary just went everywhere and wrote his name. Um, system was surveyed. Another pulsar, which I love. Out here on the edge of space. Combined with that, we have that anomaly. 1571. If they attack us near our... If they attack us near our space station, we'll be okay. In fact, let's put the fleet a little north here. What is this fleet? Oh! This was our missing fleet. They came back. Um, how about you... Land. On Ash of Prime. Just for now. We'll see where they go. Okay, they're going for Tibor. If they go to Mucolonia, we'll meet them in battle. That's not a problem. Well, hopefully it's not a problem. So they're going to attack Tibor. System survey complete. Which is... Which is fine. Um, we finished those armies, we got to Tabor. How many do they have coming in? Three attack assault armies. So we attack Tabor Prime. 
It's alien writing. It's a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Yep, we've seen that before. Fascinating. We have unemployed pops. Probably here on Tabor Prime, where all this happened. Luckily, Tabor Prime is really only producing food for itself. So we may see a drop in our food, but that will not be a big issue. Yet, yeah, do they have an admiral? Yes, they have this guy here. He's a level one admiral. And he's in charge of the transport fleet, not the combat fleet. He's actually a general, not an admiral. Okay. No other extra fleet showing up? No. Anomaly found. Ooh, another anomaly. Asteroid RLS ST is emitting some form of radiation control burst. It's someone, something trying to communicate. Is it more? Are there really only maybe these two, four or five anomalies anymore? I'm getting surprised by the amount of reoccurring anomalies we are coming across. I wonder, we have enough to do this, if... I mean, if it's going to take more than 60 days, if I have enough armies here, will they just never land and take the planet? I can just stall the... It's, I don't know if it's cheating or not. I wonder if that'll stall the AI if they can never take the planet. Uh, but in the meantime... More spaceships. We are getting closer and closer to being able to fight back, folks. Everything else is just is just waiting. Construction complete. Building ruined. Okay. They're damaging some buildings. It is what it is. They're gonna they're gonna destroy and damage buildings on this planet. We expect it. Uh, thirteen ten for our current military strength. And we finished our army recruitment here on Tabor Prime. Giving us one, two, three, half. One more defensive army. I know I shouldn't be spending... Oh! Cell cells. RLS... Okay, let's get away from that bombardment. RLS ST is partially hollow. When it's an interior space sprawls a dense honeycomb structure crafted of some unknown alloy, housing containers of alien genetic material. By all appearances, this is an archive of life. The genetic record of some earlier civilization come and gone. Most of the DNA is hopelessly degraded, but there's still much to learn here. Fascinating. Cool. So like their their lifeboat. Who knows? Maybe it will be full of unexpected sciences. All right. I think we have enough army here that we'll we'll be fine. I don't need to build any more army and waste any more minerals on that. 1300. What do we need to do to get more ships? That's all that matters right now. More ships. Scientist Bogschlach has leveled up. That's good to know. We finished the extra armies on Tabor. All kinds of ships floating around where our border is shrinking like you wouldn't believe. The battle clans are going to be a problem. I have a feeling our border may grow project complete. in a bit. A combination of extra sturdy construction techniques and automated defenses should keep the people of Shergamore Prime safe from further asteroid attacks. Splendid. How splendid can you get? Ooh. Okay. Oh, we're not getting our science boost anymore. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, 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 old guys. I would like to purchase more research aid, please. Thank you. Get our research bonus back. Don't want to be going without that. Woo! Alright. I am concerned. We are starting to lose a little bit of food every month. Situation log updated. Encounter in Steradon. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in Steradon system. These strange objects have been tagged as 
Phi, al oh, phi aliens so we can learn more about them. We should proceed with cautious. Interesting. Let's get some research going there. See if we can't talk to those aliens. Where is this? Somewhere up here, maybe, or over there? I can't tell. I don't see any alien, unknown alien vessels. Oh well. Our fleet is so close to being ready. System survey complete. It'd be even closer if I was building the ships we need. 1571. We can fit a couple more ships. Wait a minute. Are we at war with them? No, they're neutral. Are they at war? No, but they have a fleet coming this way. Where's that fleet going? Okay, we found an anomaly. We're picking up life signs coming from somewhere within the interior of this asteroid. Definitely warrants a closer look. Go ahead and research it. Okay, is this fleet... Okay, they were off fighting somebody else. They must have been. Alright. Another building's been ruined. That's okay. We're at 1.3k. We can fit four more... Four more ships into our military here. Folks, what we're going to do is we're going to break off this episode right now because we're at about the 30 minute mark. When we come back, I think... I think we will have it. I think we will have a big enough fleet that we can finally push back against the Hejams. The Hejam Citizen Compact. And hopefully do something about this loss of border. Oh, what is going on with these guys anyways? The battle clans. Hmm. Now the question is, when I go to war... I mean, they're in a defensive pact. I mean, I haven't declared war. The other people declared war on me. So I don't know what's going to happen when we start fighting back. We'll see what happens. I don't even know what I asked for in the war, did I? I asked for open borders. So we only have to win a tiny little bit. A tiny little bit. To get them to go away. I'm not the attack. Oh, they're the attackers. Okay. I don't know why it kind of shows this that way. Alright, folks. That is where we'll end the episode. We are losing a little bit of food, but we have enough stockpile. It's not a big deal. When we come back next episode, we will continue our, our, our staring contest with the Hejam Collective. Or Cooperative. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, as always, we hope to see you soon.